Lots of Xiaomi news to cover, including some official details shared by a Xiaomi executive that lets us know exactly what the design is gonna be, at least on the Mi 10 Pro. So one of the bosses at Xiaomi shared a screenshot of a device that he has been using recently. And this is a not so subtle hint as to what we should be expecting with the Mi 10 Pro and the design of that. You can tell by the screen layout at the top and the notification bar, this basically confirms that the top left is going to be the placement for the selfie camera. That will be in a cutout display. We've known this for a really long time, but you can never be 100% sure until you start seeing things from the company itself. This does show a space in the top left-hand corner for the cutout. And also it places the notification icons more in the center, which also confirms the curved display on both the left and right sides. Now more information after this leak has actually suggested from a really prominent Xiaomi leaker in China that actually both versions of the Mi 10, that's the Mi 10 Pro and the normal Mi 10, will actually come with a curved screen. Actually, if we take a look at the Mi Note 10, it would make a lot of sense that Xiaomi are going for curved displays in both of the Mi 10 phones. The Mi Note 10 is gonna be way cheaper than either of those phones and that has a curved display. However, I would have also understood the Mi 10 normal version having a flat display as the Mi Note 10 and the Mi 10 Pro both have curved screens. It just gives an extra option as there are a lot of us out there that still don't really want a curved display and prefer flat OLED panels. But from what we know right now, it looks like all of those phones will have curved displays. People have been analyzing the screenshot and actually looked at the details of the screenshot and the image. And they worked out by looking at the image that the resolution on that screen is actually 2340 by 1080. And that is a full HD resolution. What we can also glean from this is that there is no 20 by nine aspect ratio, at least on this phone. I'm a little bit disappointed if that is the case. Phones are now moving towards taller 20 by nine aspect ratios. Oppo, OnePlus, Realme have all been doing it. The Galaxy S20 series will be doing it. But from this screenshot, it looks like they're sticking to the normal screen display size. There's also been questions asked about a possible Mi 10 SE, which would be a smaller, cheaper version of the Mi 10 lineup this year. But this year, there is going to be no smaller, cheaper version of the Mi 10 series. Instead of having a flagship and a mid-range phone in the Mi 10 lineup, there is a flagship phone and then a more premium, more expensive pro flagship phone. We got some really good information from Lu Weibing, who is the Redmi boss, who told us all about their work on the underscreen camera technology. He asked Xiaomi fans what technology they would most like to know about, and everyone chose about underscreen cameras, or as Lu Weibing and Xiaomi call it, CUP, camera under panel. However, the news he had wasn't the best news for the implementation of underscreen cameras. He says that the technology is just, at the moment, really difficult to get right. It has to do with the pixel density of the screen. If you keep a normal pixel density, then not enough light comes through the screen onto the camera and so the quality of images is just not good enough. And then if you lower pixel density too much, then the screen itself is lower in quality and just doesn't look too great either. So at the moment, that technology is just something that they haven't worked out yet and is taking longer than expected. XDA published an article yesterday confirming some model numbers for the Mi 10 series. We actually didn't learn anything that we haven't known for a very long time. They also confirmed 66 watt charging for the Mi 10 Pro. The leaked charging brick says 65 watt charging, but it's there or thereabouts. So the first two weeks of February were actually the concrete launch date for the Mi 10 series. Now with what's happening in China, we really don't know what's happening. The launch date could be delayed, it could not be delayed, or the launch event may happen just with Xiaomi and with an online presence, but not actually inviting any press because it's really difficult to travel around China right now. We don't know right now, but of course I will keep you up to date. Subscribe for the latest tech news and tech videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.